Hello, class. Welcome. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Can you guys Good see evening. Me? Good evening. Can you all see me? Yes. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. How are you guys today? How's everybody? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you guys today? I'm fine. Good, good. How was your weekend? Tell me about it. Mm, my weekend. Um, a, li a little busy. It was a little busy. It was good. It was a good weekend. Yes, yeah, it was a good weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. What about the others? How was your weekend? Good, teacher. Pretty good? good weekend. All right, excellent. What yes. Did you, did you do anything interesting? Mm, not teacher. Nothing no, not, interesting. Nothing interesting? Really? No. Anybody did no. something? On the no. no, teacher. Only clean and wash the clothes, <laughs> staying home. Wow, that's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah. I'm sorry to hear that. What about the others? No, nobody had anything interesting to do. I went to Guatepeque Lake. Oh, and that's the nice. Santana Cathedral, where my grandparents got married. Ah. Where did you go? To Santa Ana's Cathedral. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Very good. Um, so you were you were um, reminiscing. <laughs> Do you guys know what reminiscing is? Reminiscencia? No. Oh, estar en un lugar donde estuvo antes. No. Um, reminiscing means um, to like, a, a, like um, going to a place or, uh, or looking at something that brings um, back memories, but it's mm. something that you enjoy, that you like. Ah, so okay. It's, different from, it's like, it's very similar to being nostalgic, you know, and but it's the opposite, like it's the opposite in the sense that nostalgic is like, like you feel sad mm -hmm. and reminiscing, it's something good, you like it. Mm -hmm. So it's like visiting the past, but um, visiting the past, but, but enjoying it, yeah? It makes me feel happy, okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I'll, I'll write the, yeah, it makes, yeah, it definitely makes you feel happy. Mm -hmm. um, and that's exactly the way it felt. Yeah. My grandparents got married in, in that cathedral in 1943. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. 1943, my goodness. So I was thinking, hey, here we were all started, I, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it all started, yeah, exactly. Wow, that's, that's very interesting. I, I wrote in the chat, if you guys are uh -huh. Reminisce. Reminisce. To reminisce. It's, it should to be reminisce. To okay. Verb. Yeah. So that's nice. That that is very interesting. And um, your are your grandpa still alive? Oh no, they already passed. Both of them. Both of them passed away. Okay. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. But but it's nice to have that legacy, right? That's that's very nice. And um, and it. Like the rest of your family lived there too? Uh, no, no, I just went with my father-in-law. Oh, okay. So it's nice. mm -hmm. okay, nice, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, well guys, um, well, I'm glad to see you guys again um, after the weekend. I hope you guys, uh, you know, even if you didn't go somewhere interesting, but at least I hope you were able to um, stay at home and relax and recharge those batteries so that this week we are ready to to begin. Yeah. Yes. So how you feel? Yes. Yeah? With, your, with your batteries all recharged. That's right. Okay. Good. All right. Good. 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 
Okay, so I'm going to right now take attendance. Uh, we'll start with that. So, um, all right, so the first one, of course, on my list is Ana Claudia. Present teacher. <laughs> all right, welcome. Okay, and then goes uh, Javit. I'm here. All right, welcome, Javit. And Andres. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Andres. And Dennis. Dennis. Dennis Orlando, no. Okay, uh, Edgar, Edgar Alfredo. Edgar. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay. Wonderful. Yes. Welcome, Edgar. Oh, no, wait a second, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 I'm sorry. I, I keep... He's Alfredo, he's the other one, the last yes. one. <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry, I keep on forgetting. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm calling right now Edgar Alfredo Menjivar. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so no, right? So Edgar Menjivar is not here, right? Okay, all right, let's continue then. Um, Eddie Chorleni, no, right? Okay. What about uh, Irvin? Present teacher. Okay, welcome Irvin. Thank you. Fabiola? All right. Haiti? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Haiti. Irene? Irene? No? Ivan? Present teacher. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I, was, I was expecting Ivan's voice, and I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> um, Ivan? All right. So welcome, Irene, by the way. Okay. Ivan? Is Ivan here? Okay. All right. I'll swear. Presentation. Okay. Well, welcome, I'll swear. Everything all right? <laughs> is, is everything all right, Josue? Yeah, it's everything all right. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. All right, uh, Juan Francisco? That's a teacher. Okay, welcome for Juan Francisco. Jury? Jury, no? Okay, all right, not here. Uh, what about Luis Ernesto? Luis Ernesto. No? Okay. Manuel Alejandro. Okay. Uh, Natalia Rene. Present teacher. Okay. Welcome, Natalia. Thanks. Wendy. Wendy. No, no, Wendy. Okay. Warner. Warner. I would just say. No, okay. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Okay, welcome, Yvonne. Thank you. Edgar Enriquez. I'm here again. All right, okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Uh, Eli. Present. All right. Welcome, Eli. Jose Montes. Present. Okay, welcome, Jose. And Jose Ayala. Present the jury. All right, welcome, Jose. Okay, great. So let me let me make sure that I have everybody. The people that I didn't hear were um, Dennis Orlando, Edgar Menjivar, Eddie Chorleni, Fabiola, Ivan, Jury. Present the jury. Oh, okay, wonderful. Welcome, Jerry. Thank you so much. Okay, um, Luis, Manuel Alejandro, Wendy, w Warner, and Ellie. Oh. Ellie? I'm here. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, yes, you did say, yeah, sorry. Yes, you're right. I was, I don't make you okay. And you did say, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Okay, no all problem. right. 
Okay, so gotcha, everybody. All right, so we are going to start. Um, let's begin with um, our PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see it. <clears throat> yes, no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right, perfect. Okay, so we're going to start. So this is the intermediate, intermediate module one, it's unit two procedures. And today is Monday, July 19th, 2021. It's day number nine. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. My goodness, it's, it's, it's incredible how July has been, you know, passing by so incredible. I, I feel like I just started July. And now I'm almost going to finish it. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> so don't you feel that way? That, you know, you feel like, like uh, you, you literally, yes. start, you start a month and Always. you- you say bye to it by the end of the week, <laughs> right? It's so weird. Always, always. I think uh, always is Friday, too. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Okay, so anyways, this was something that we did last time. Um, last class, we looked at, we said, uh, work in pairs in your assigned breakout room. Choose two of the procedures you follow every day at your workplace. Create a mini poster to present both procedures to the class and present your mini poster to two other pairs, right? So remember, this was something that we were going to be doing. We worked on it on Friday and I told you guys we were gonna be presenting today, okay? Yeah, you guys remember this? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> okay, so. Um, I took a, a screenshot of our groups, okay, so that you guys can see that, you know, this is the order that we're going to work on, okay? We're going to start with Anna, Javi, and Wendy, <clears throat> all right? So let's start with them first. Okay. Okay. Um, the procedures to avoid a spread the COVID nineteen in your work workplace. Uh, follow the next step. Uh, the freeze is mandatory. Must require uh, below this point when you um. Uh, into your work. And the second step is please use hand sanitizer before entering. The third and four, uh, Wendy. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Anna. And the next step is the get your temperature and checking all day and three times in the day. And the first step is uh, maintenance social distancing for your security. In your hand, say the solution that the COVID-19. Only that teacher. <laughs> okay, very good, excellent, bravo. Okay, let me give you one of these. Thanks, Anna Javi. Okay, excellent. Very, very good. Thanks, okay. Wendy. Excellent. Okay, um, so those are some of the procedures that you guys do at your workplace. Excellent. Let's go now to the next group. Um, let me see who it was. Ana Claudia and Josue. Okay. Hey. 
Because where are you going to share? Yeah, I'm going to share. We select two procedures. Um, we agree both. Um, make on that. I don't know if you want to go first. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the procedure that we choose is sanitizing and hand washing. Hand washing. In the procedure is the, the is for the COVID nineteen, and is about uh, health or the. The personal in our company. Mm -hmm. That's right. On our, uh, we were discussing and, and both agreed that on our workplace everything changed and now is normal. We need to uh, uh, use the alcohol and also we need to hand wash, uh, use the hand washing procedure. Uh, even I was. Uh, uh, Saying to Josue that even though we work at home at the beginning at the beginning of the pandemic, eh, our both our bosses they were every twenty minutes. Remember, you need to wash your hand. Even though you are at home, you need to wash your hand. And we were, but we are at home. <laughs> but they were eh, eh, making this call out on. Uh, they were insisting on that, so we were. Uh, we were uh, used to make it, so now it's normal to wash our hands, even though we are at home, and it's normal to uh, sanitize our in, our working area. Yeah, it's the yeah. norm. Yes. It's the norm, yes. Okay, all right, very good, bravo. Okay. Excellent, all right, let me give you one of these as well. <laughs> All right, Thank excellent, you. very, very good. <clears throat> okay, excellent. Let's move on. Um, the next group is, let me see. Um, Luis, is Luis here? No. Who is working with Luis? Me, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. So Juan Francisco, you are working with me. Okay. Uh, do you have the the presentation, or does Luis yes, have the presentation? Yes. Okay. Hold. Yeah. Wait. Wait for it. Um. Don't don't present it yet. We'll wait till the very end and see if maybe Luis connects. Okay. 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 All right. And if he doesn't, then then you can present. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next group is Ivan and Yvonne. Okay, and uh, sorry teacher, the presentation of the procedures is for Ivan. Ivan has the presentation? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, well, we'll wait till the end, maybe Ivan shows up. Okay. okay. Um, all right, next is Ervin and Natalia. Hello. Hello. I share the screen. I'm going to share the screen. Do you see? Not yet, but we will. Yeah. Okay. Now we are. Okay. Well, uh, with Erwin, choose more like a procedures that uh, clear and sanitizing. We choose a uh, proceed like a more to work, and and on our work, we talk about our work, what to do, what what is the 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 work that we do. So for that, we choose these two procedures. The first procedures in the morning is greeting the staff of routine. 
the greeting is very values and because you stay in contact with the people since the morning. And then the second one procedure is check the buckets for me because I work in for recovery and check the buckets of the dead, the many people. And for Erwin, the stock of the locals because he rent local, uh, commercial locals. Sorry, could you repeat that last sentence about Erwin? Uh, stocks. I don't know is the word, the correct word is a stocks. <laughs> yeah, yes, but could you give me the sentence again? Because I didn't I, I didn't understand it very well. The complete sentence. Ah, okay. Check the stock of the local. And for me, I check the box of the dead. Okay. Okay, very good, excellent. All right, um, very good. All right, let me give you one of these. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. All right, um, okay, excellent. Okay, <clears throat> and let's move on to the next group. Second, I lost it here. Ah, okay. Andres and Warner. Warner is not here. And actually, Warner is not going to be here. Um, so, do you have the information, Andres? Did he fly to Tokyo? <laughs> Just to show. What? Did Warner fly to Tokyo? <laughs> Why? Olympics Games <laughs> or oh, Japan, oh. I don't know where they are. <laughs> oh, no, 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 he sent me okay. a message, yeah. Okay, okay, no, okay. I'm just joking. No, no, it's okay. Okay, um, so do you have it, Andres? Yes, teacher, I, I have a little presentation. Okay. Perfect. Okay, very good. So the, the first one is always, we have to wear a mask. The second one, we apply alcohol gel. And the third one is check body temperature. If, if we are okay in all that steps, we can start to work teacher. What happens if somebody doesn't, it shows up with, with no mask on? Uh, there is a, there's somebody in the door and she has a, a mask. Oh, if somebody so don't have a mask, uh, she give a mask. She gives them the mask? Yes. Interesting. For, it's, it's for all. For, workers and the users too. Good, that's mm -hmm. good. Yeah, because for, for, for whatever reason, somebody may not have one, right? So that's good. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay, very good, bravo. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay, let's move on. I have Edgar Menjivar and Heidi. Um, is Edgar Menjivar here? No. Oh, no. He hasn't entered. But Heidi, do you, Heidi? Hello. Uh, do you have the presentation? I do, teacher. You do? I'll, I'll share it right now. Okay. That'd be great. Just as Ana Claudia's team, uh, we choose two activities. We choose hand washing, uh, run your hands under warm water, apply soap and lather vigorously to make bubbles. Sorry, Especially sorry, Heidi. Uh, would it be okay if you make it a little bit bigger? It's that way it's, we can see it better because the um, the letters are very small. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's just so that we can see it better. Thank 
maybe if you choose full screen. Yeah, no, that, that's the correct place. No, no, it's fine. You're you're doing right there where you were before. No, at the bottom, at the bottom, Haiti, right there. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, no, no, where you, where you were pointing at before. Right here. No, no, um, right there. Yeah, that's it. Can you see it? Uh, just go one back. Go back because there you go. Mm. Right. It's not That's opening. Working, right? Let me. I'll stop sharing. Let me fix it before Work. sharing. Or you can send it to me and I can project it, whatever you prefer. Mm, okay. I'm sorry, I cannot share it. You can it by by chat. You can send it by chat. I try to send it, but I couldn't. No. Okay. Well, then in that case, present it as as you have it. No worries. Thank you. Okay. Uh, rinse off. Dry hands with clean towel. If possible, turn off the skin handle in towel and open the door with a towel. And we try to sanitize surfaces too. The surfaces we work on, you know, uh, we work with a lot of money and money is dirty, right? So we have to sanitize uh, the surfaces of our space where every time a uh, customer leaves. And that's it. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I can. I, okay, uh, what was about the sanitizing? Can you repeat that part? And that we try to sanitize our, our space work because we work with money. And you know, money is really dirty. So we try to clean up, clean up our station every time a customer leaves. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. All right, sounds good. Excellent. Okay, very good. Bravo. Serve one of these. Excellent. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay, and the last one is Jose, <clears throat> excuse me, Jose Montes and Jury. Okay, uh, I'm going to show a, a little presentation that we create. Let me see if I have here. Let me just see the presentation. Yes, we can see it. Well, I'm going to talk about the, the first step that, and the other ones are going to be with Jose. The first activity that we do at the pandemic that we are living now is, the first activity is hand use hand sanitizer because at the door we have a sanitizer to, to clean the hands. And the other activity that we, the company do is take a temperature of the old, old 
employees that are in, go in at the at the office. And the last one is going to talk about that activity, Jose. Mm, okay. I don't have a presentation, but I can tell you uh, the procedures I use for the next activity. Uh, this is the procedures I used. Uh, to for every call. May I? Sure, yeah, we're waiting. Go ahead. Okay, the next activity is um uh, this is the procedures uh, we use uh, at my work to save a uh, customer. First, greet the customer, and Sorry. after that. Sorry, Jose, we can't. We we can't see you. Uh, you are you is you are you having problems? The oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we can see you. Okay. But I'm, I'm reading. That's why I don't know. I, I don't know if do you see me. No, <clears throat> we can't see you. Okay, but I need to read. <laughs> you, you're reading. Oh, why don't you yeah. try just explaining instead of reading? Try to explain it to us. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good Sorry, evening, Sorry, no. Me estoy con mi celular que. Tengo problema con el internet, fíjese. Okay, no problem, but um, I'm glad you were able to connect. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, Jose, is it, is it possible just like, and don't you don't need to read everything, just just try to explain what you what you remember, right? I did for the second activity, right? I'm going to say for the second activity, though, the procedures procedures I use uh, for this. This is um. The procedure have to to take a call and have to save an, uh, a customer. First, and we greet the customer. After that, and we we use uh, empathy, and then uh, I I use apologize for the customer or and ask them for the. Uh, call for purpose, and after that, uh, we present we present a good uh, offer, and finally we uh, close the call with a big smile. Okay, I like the last one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very good. Um, when you when you say, I mean. You're, you're talking a call on 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 phone or on video uh, on a video call no it is just call ah okay mm -hmm. so even though they can't see you but you're still smiling yes <laughs> they feel they feel what are you saying right also by the phone mm -hmm. of course mm -hmm. of course yeah and and I totally agree wow. you can um, you can tell uh you you can you can picture the person's uh face in your mind just by their intonation you know so you can see like you can almost see them you know when you're when you're on the phone yes i i, I understand of course, right? of course. Yeah. right um ana claudia yes of course i'm <laughs> saying yes to <laughs> when people right. just uh, well, listen to us uh -huh. Who else? I know. Who else? I know there's somebody else that. Alfredo and also. Right, right. Yeah. Eh, Edgar Alfredo, um, you also are on the phone, right? No, the other, the other one, the. Edgar Alfredo. Uh, eh, Enriquez. Enriquez, <laughs> and also, eh, Jose. Jose, I guess. 
The other Jose, the other Jose. Jose Ayala? Mm -hmm. um, I can't see the, them two. Uh, so, Edgar Enriquez, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay. All right. So, you, what do you think about, about the um, smile thing? Over the phone. <laughs> yeah, over the phone, exactly. What do you think about that? About what? <laughs> Uh, what well, we were talking about, um, uh, about um, smiling over the phone. Okay. Jose, I was explaining the procedure to save uh, or to talk with the customer when there is an issue. Right, Jose? Yes. And he so, said at the end <laughs> uh, that he always with a smile. friendly <laughs> smile or be smile. We are agreeing with him because yes, I'm fine. <laughs> we're, we're talking about the fact that even though you somebody is on the phone, yeah. but you can you can tell if somebody is smiling or they're not smiling, even if you're on the phone. <clears throat> Does that make yeah, sense? We can, we can feel if somebody is smiling or not. Mm -hmm. Because you, when you speak and you're just smiling, and your voice is different. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Honestly, we work at home and we work at the call center, and it's really, really different if you speak and you are boring or you are not smiling and your expression, uh, even they can see us. But we, I don't know. How, how can I say that? But if you are smiling, maybe the customer says, okay, you are happy and they feel so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and you know, this is, this is something, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking a little bit of time to talk about this because this is true not only for your job, I mean, in life. Like if you, you know, even if you're on the phone with someone, I, you have probably noticed that you make gestures, even if you're on the phone, you're, you're talking, you say, you know, so I went really far away and, you know, it was, you know, super big, but, you know, you make gestures, even though the person cannot see, but they, but you're making the gesture. Why? Because doing the gesture <clears throat> kind of is more like it's for you mo more than it is for the other person. And this helps you to be able to communicate better. So if you have, you know, if you're smiling on the phone, more like uh, Yes. You're going to say something? No, Edgar, I'm in here. Oh. I'm Alfredo, he's Edgar. <laughs> uh, are you, did you, were you gonna say something, Edgar? Eh, excuse me, teacher. Uh, estoy tratando de conectarme con el internet de la residencial. Oh. Y solamente con el, entonces todavía no, no he logrado la conexión. Oh, okay. siento, oh, no, it's okay, it's okay, no worries. <clears throat> no worries. Uh, but if you want, you can stay on your phone. That's okay. Eh, oh, okay. If that works for you, that's not a problem. For me, that's not a problem. Okay. Oh, okay. But, so you can just stay on your phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank okay. You. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, and, and like I was saying, this is something uh, really good to get into the habit of smiling because if your smile, you're you're like like uh, like Edgar Enrique said, your voice is different, right? You can you and that will make the other person feel better, and you probably won't have like. Uh, you will have a better communication with the person that you are talking to, and you will probably not have so many misunderstandings. So something to think about. Okay, good. And finally, well, uh, we have post, oh, sorry, no. Um, okay, Luis is still not here. So who, who told me was was with Luis? Juan, Juan Francisco, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So um, Luis didn't come in. So do you want to present yours? Okay. Okay. Go for it.
Procedure to enter the company. Step one, fill the online form about Simpson, about the COVID. Step two, uh, before entering the office, you must sanitize uh, your hands and shoes. Then, step three, the guard take your temperature and let you go if your temperature is okay. The next is procedure to clean the test. Um, step one, they are white for clean the test. Step two, apply alcohol to the surface of the test and remove with the what and the three when you finish the clean the test throw the white in the trash and have wash just that picture very good um i have a question from francisco you said that to be when you start uh, when you, when you, the first step that you take is to fill out a form of symptoms. Is that what you said? Uh, what is step number one? Number one. Uh-huh. Uh, step one, fill the online form about symptoms, about the COVID. Uh huh. Okay. Good. That's what the, that's what I was going to ask you about. So, it, is this every is that every day that you have to fill in a form, an online form? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, Luis L. Me comentó oh. que sí. El oh, okay. That's that's Luis's process. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes. And so he said that he has to do it every day. Yes, and um, otherwise uh, he entered the office. Um, siempre que, que asiste el trabajo. Sería. Wow, wow, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, thank you very much, Juan Francisco. Bye. Let's continue. Um, let's see. Uh, Yvonne. Uh, okay, uh, I don't have the presentation, but uh, oh, uh, I'm going to explain the procedure that we choose the last class. Okay. Uh, we choose uh, sanitizing the workstation and hand washing. Uh, I think that uh, both procedures are the more common uh, currently, uh, because uh, the emergency of COVID-19, COVID <laughs> um, for example, uh, we need to sanitize the workstation at least three times uh, per day because you are in contact with other people, with other objects, and you have to prevent sanitizing uh, your workstation at least three times. And uh, hand washing is very important uh, because uh, you have you need uh, to avoid and prevent uh, the COVID. And if you uh, go to the restrooms if you are in contact with other people or you touch uh, any object, there are not your personal object, you have to prevent and wash your hands uh, a lot per day. Uh, 
uh, even if you are in your house, not only in your work, uh, you have to uh, wash your hands uh, uh, a lot, I think. And that's all. All right, very good, excellent. Bravo, excellent. Very, very good. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, so um, I think that's everybody, right? If I'm not mistaken. Um, teacher. Yeah. Uh, I, I have I have the the, the the presentation and the computer. Oh, uh, um, okay. Um, well, I I think you were with Haiti, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the thing is that um, Haiti already presented before. Um, but if you want, you can present for us again. That's fine. Oh, okay. It's okay. up to you. You can. You do you want to present again? Um, the Haiti, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she yeah. already presented for you. Ah. We didn't. We didn't know if you were going to be connecting or not. Um, so, mm -hmm. um, she already passed. Do you want to present again, or is that okay? Uh, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's good. Okay. Well, guys, bravo to everybody. This is for everybody. Very good job. Okay. So lots of procedures, right? But very similar procedures at your job, right? So if you notice, many people have pretty much the same type of procedures. So yeah, very good. And you know, I think with the, the COVID-19, it's something that we have become accustomed to. Good. Excellent. Um, so we are now going to continue with the next part. Please tell me if you can see. Teacher, I have a question regarding to the platform. Um, I don't know, uh, this uh, week, we need to complete until which uh, does the 2.5 or... Because... Uh, uh, the platform shows two videos in a task, then two videos in a task. So I don't know mm -hmm. for this week, uh, if we need to complete until the 2.7 or 2.5. Okay, just give me a moment. I will, I will try to answer that question. Because today is class number nine, right? That's right. So at the end of the conference number nine shows that that's 2.5. And then tomorrow will be uh, 10 and... and... Mm -hmm. Give me a second. They are long, let me tell you. They are so different. But what's what's long? What's different? The two point five is not just five questions. Is uh, ten? <laughs> For the it's reason I'm questions. asking, if uh -huh, if if we need to just complete the two point two and the two point five. Yes, I, there are two lessons. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, to conference, then the task. To conference, and then the task. Okay, just a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so if I'm not mistaken, you would have to finish until 2.5. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But that would be until tomorrow, not today. Mm -hmm. right? uh -huh, correct, correct. Until tomorrow, just 2.2 and 2.5. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, make sure that you guys are finished 2.5 uh, by tomorrow because uh, on 
what would it be? Wednesday early, early on Wednesday morning, I'm going to be sending the report. <clears throat> so I need everybody to have finished either way. And um, speaking of that, I have to remind you guys that there are some people that um, still have not finished unit one and we are way past that. So I need you guys to completely finish unit one and to finish two point, up to 2.5, okay? So the good thing about unit two at this point is that um, you only have to do one, two, basically two, 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 two homeworks, two tasks, two pieces of homework or two tasks. Um, for uh, for for Monday or for tomorrow, right? Um, so that that's better, right? Because you don't have that much to do, but you do have to finish it, okay? So, I mean, there shouldn't really be a and like an excuse, let's say that you know why you couldn't finish up to two point five because, uh, like I said, there's only two two pieces of homework to do for this for this week. So I think we, we can do it, right? So um, I want everybody to have finished, completed up to 2.5, all right? Are there any problems, any questions that you guys have? For the second assignment, the- Assignment? Or number four, assignment number four, I don't remember the name, is the, the other thing in the, in the second week? Uh, it's like a exam, I think. Oh, you mean your the midterm? Uh, yes. You're talking about the midterm. Um, when is the limit uh, date? The deadline. The late. Thank you. The Thank deadline. You. Okay. The deadline. the deadline for that has moved because obviously we we uh, we lost the class. Therefore, mm -hmm. we have to move that deadline, okay? Let me just um, show you again our PowerPoint para que vean que no les estoy, eh, le voy a mostrar exactamente el mismo PowerPoint que les mostré el primer día. Okay, so this was the, the PowerPoint we saw um, the first day of class. So, Okay, so, okay, so here it is. So it says here, la fecha límite para terminar el examen medio, el midterm es el lunes 27 de julio. Hoy va a ser martes 27. Sería entonces martes 27. Okay, okay. Okay? Okay. All right, and this, and the same thing goes for this one. We're, oh, um, by the way, uh, the, the plan up to this moment, although it's not, I, I haven't gotten an official, um, uh, an official um, a notification, but we should, it, we should be finishing the day after we were supposed to finish. So we were supposed to finish this day. So we would be finishing on the Tuesday, the 17th. Okay, so just letting you guys know that. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All righty. Um, and that also means the, mid, the the final exam would also be due that day. It's sure. Okay. I have a question. What about the the task two point eight to to two point fourteen? We're going to be doing it in the second part. Uh, in, in other words, the next next week. No, next well, not week. next week. It's it's basically the continuation of the, or better so, in the third week, which we would be starting on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we start the third week. That means that we need to finish to two point five. Two point two and two point five tasks. Yes. So okay. you're, you're going to be doing up to 2.5. That's right. Okay. And okay. then, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And then you have week three, which starts on, on Wednesday to complete 
2.8 and 2.11 and 2.14. 14. 14 next, next Tuesday. Right. Exactly. Okay. 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 All right. Any questions? Got it. No, I got it. Everything Sorry. is clear for you guys? And so remember, we're, we're moving everything one day after. One day. Okay, so everything we had originally planned, we're moving everything one day after. And that also includes the one-on-one -on -one sessions. Okay, so the one-to-one -one sessions, uh, we had the programmed, we're gonna be moving them one day over. Okay, so okay. And so if you look at the, at your- Calendar, cal I was calendar. looking at that calendar. So if it's, if for example, your session is on the Monday, then the session would be on the Tuesday. Mm -hmm. If it said Friday, the session would be on the next Monday, right? Yes, sucesivamente. Okay. Yes. Today is Natalia turns. <laughs> is it? Yes. I don't. I don't remember right now, but yeah, probably. <laughs> yes, I'm. Yes, I here. think so. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm on Friday. Oh, okay, right. Yes, you're right. I, I remember you were you were asking about that. Yeah, exactly. So it would be Natalia's turn, right? And, and then we would continue, um, you know, after Natalia and so on. All right. So are all the, the, the dates clear for you guys now? Oh, yes, and I saw somebody was asking about the very important, the very important question that I'm sure you guys have. <laughs> Somebody was asking about our vacation. Mm -hmm. Are we going to have vacation? Yes. I guess so. Of course we are. Yes, we are. Um, oh, the week. Oh, the whole week. And the reason is because InSupport goes to vacation, so we have to go on vacation, <laughs> whether we like it or not. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. They they um they do not um they, they don't allow us to have any classes during the time that they are off, and that's one of the reasons actually why we're also going to be moving the the dates over, right? Because we cannot have we cannot make up our classes that week. Okay. So um. Which so days are we going to have vacation? Just the uh... the whole week. Oh First, my goodness! Yeah, from go, going from the Monday the second to Friday the, the, the six. Uh huh. Right. I'm, August, going to, August I'm going to sleep early though. That <laughs> all week. And only you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you say, one and in the end, you always end up seeing Come a little on, bit no. later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's what happens to me. I always, I always find something to do, and I end up going to bed at the same time. I'm like, oh, you know. Watch, watch TV really late. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's right. You know, like binge watch on on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So there you go. Uh huh. Oh yeah, exactly. We need to make the the the, the Spanish churros. On the <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so anyways, uh, so everything is clear about the, the dates, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you guys want to ask about before we continue? I would like to ask for something about the midterm. Okay. Uh, is the midterm exam already in the platform? Of course. Okay. I'm telling you uh, something that you guys should all know is that when you have access to the midterm, sorry, to the platform, you have access to the whole course. Okay. So if you want, you can literally from the first day start on the platform and do everything you want. You can even do, you know, the final exam on day number one if you want. Okay. Oh, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Katie loves to do it that way. <laughs> That's right, my friend. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, everybody learns different, right? So differently. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know uh, what is uh, Hades, um, 
Uh, you know, loves to do it in that way and she learns also. <laughs> you know me i don't know it's like I she's don't know faster what uh what the purpose is but um sometimes you could do it like a review you know you can even mm -hmm. like to see how much do you already know like mm -hmm. before we start the course how do how much do i know already so you can do it that way <laughs> if you want yeah that's fine but we only have a one opportunity no no it's no. the same like in the task. Uh -huh. You can try, you can try. Yeah. No, in the task, only one. You can do no. only one, but when no. you push no. 10, you can do it in again. One of of course one. you can. Of you can course. delete okay. any answer. No, but that can change. It can change the answer. Yes, you can do it. Yes, you can. All of us, we do it well, in that me, way. I don't know, but for me, it doesn't work. Because <laughs> when, I, when I do it, uh, yes, actually, that's that's one of the um, the perks of the of this platform that it gives you the opportunity of working over and over again because the idea mm -hmm. is that the more you work on it, the more you learn. So Maybe if you why, try to delete answers, Natalia. No, what I'm guessing oh. is the following, Natalia. Are are you doing it on your computer or on your In software? computer? In the computer. On the computer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try doing it from another um, another device. Sometimes mm -hmm. I, I I've seen uh, well I've heard students mention it that that sometimes if they do it from another device it works a little differently mm -hmm. for some reason. Okay. So try doing it from another device. Try it on your cell phone or or if you okay. have another computer you know work on from another computer but that it should it should give you opportunity to um you know work on it as much as you want until you get a hundred it, it you know okay i try it because i when i push the send the bracket send then i have the punctuation and then i can i can change that the punctuation oh that's weird yeah, no, but it should and shouldn't give you any problems with that. So try it from another device. Maybe that's just, you know, sometimes that happens for some reason. Okay. The configuration of the of the maybe uh, yeah of the uh, device. Teacher. Yeah. Uh huh. I uh, the midterm. Uh, I don't know if you say when when the, the the time that we have to or the deadline that we have for the midterm. Yeah, it's Tuesday, July 26th. Oh, sorry, 27th. Okay. Tuesday, July 27th. Okay. 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 All right. Any other questions? Anything at all? Or is it completely clear for everybody? No, it's clear. It's clear? Okay, great. All right, in that case, guys, oh, like I said, um, yeah, so go ahead. I, I, I actually prefer you to start working on it like the midterm and the, and, the, and, the, and the final exam now than having you at the last moment do it and you're like rushing and you're like, oh, I don't remember and you're getting all these wrong answers and, and then you're, you know, writing in the chat, oh, what is this? What is this question? What about this? You know, so, and then you're in a panic. So, and then when you're in a panic, you don't do things well. <laughs> so, so I would prefer you guys, if you can, to, to do it, you know, start doing a little, little by little, you know, you already have probably enough information to do a lot of the mid, of the midterm. Okay. So, yeah, you go ahead and, and work on that already, right? So um, you don't have to wait until, you know, next Tuesday to, to start working on it. You can start from now. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. So anyway, let's continue. Uh, we're going to check the attendance because, of course, it's already time. Okay. All right. Incredible. But time flies. Okay. All right, so again, uh, we have Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right, and we have um, Javi. Present. Okay, Andres. Present teacher. Okay, and um, Dennis Orlando. Edgar Menjivar. 
Present teacher. Edith Giorleni. Uh, Urban Lagos. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Fabiola. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Ivan. Ivan, no. Josue. Josue, no. Um, yeah, present teacher. Oh, okay. Present. All right. Okay, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Uh, jury. Present teacher. Luis. Luis, no. Okay. Um, Manuel Alejandro. No. Uh, Natalia. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy. Wendy. No, Wendy. Teacher, sorry, my my microphone lost. <laughs> okay, sorry. sorry. Okay, Werner. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, uh, Yvonne. Present. All right, great. Edgar Enriquez. I'm here. All right, uh, Elizabeth, Ellie. No, Ellie. Did we lose her? She was here. She was here. I guess we did lose her. Okay. Um, Jose Montes. Present. Okay. And Jose Ayala. Present teacher. All right. Great. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let's move on. Um, okay. So, please tell me. Can you see it? Yes, teacher, we can see it. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. All right, so we're going to be starting with a conversation here. And the first thing is I want you to discuss these questions. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? What happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? So I want, I'm going to ask you to get into pairs. You're gonna be discussing these two questions. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? And what happens when your employer doesn't follow procedures, okay? So don't think about just one or two things. Talk about, think about all the steps that are involved in your work. What, what is like something that is very necessary at your workplace and what happens if one of your, your um, co-workers decides that they don't want to follow those procedures, okay? So I'm going to get you guys um, to work in groups, sorry, in pairs. Um, and I'm going to get you guys, uh, probably I'll give you about, mm, you know, I think five minutes to to discuss this. Okay. Um, hold on. Give me a moment. Okay, I think we should have. All right, let's open the rooms.
como le dije a la tita. Hi, Warner. Um, Hi, teacher. Uh, Warner, I, I, um, I appreciate your connecting. Um, if you want just to stay back and listen, that's okay. Um, you know, I, that's why I put you in a group of three so that you wouldn't have to be, we're, um, you know, talking so much if you're not feeling too well, but if you are, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Teacher. All right. Okay. Um, do you guys have any questions? No teacher. Okay. All right. Okay. Go for it. And I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay. Teacher. Okay, Jose, in my case, if we don't proceed. Because of the pandemic. Procedure, again. And they take the temperature in three times. When you enter to work and for 10 of oh, the middle morning, in the middle of the morning, and I don't don't remember the other, but it's um, like three times, and wash your hands and use an it is san 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 Kaiser. Sanis. Sani. Kaiser. Sizer. Sizer. Sani. Sizer. No. Sanitizer. 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 Okay. Sanit Sanitizer. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I think in my word is very difficult. Uh, the that that um, oh, pro processus, procedure, procedure. <laughs> not teacher. I can't, pro I can't. Procedure, yes, procedures. 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 Procedures um, is very important that all the procedures um, and don't forget because it's uh, automatic, I think, is all, all days uh, doing the same and it's a, 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 verbal, a verbal call for addition. Is made and it is a valid that the produce producers was brittle. And if if you persist in persist in not complete with the produce, uh, a right personal action uh, is applied applied to, to the document. Hey, like a warning. Yeah. Yes, in my company too. If if an employee doesn't want to to follow this procedure, the the boss procedures 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 okay, okay procedures the boss have a warning for them, right? And and they and they and they have to they must to follow all the procedures 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 okay. And what what the other procedures that are in your company? Um, the procedures, uh, for example, um, um, 
um, uh, the COVID 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 nineteen. Uh, uh huh. Um, um, yeah. Um, uh, question. But what about with the first one? What step do you yeah. follow in your yeah. everyday work? Excuse me, I, I can listen to it. Okay. What is step do you follow on your everyday uh, work? Okay, I control the personal. I control me, I control. Okay, that's it. The control and the coach, only that. Mm -hmm. The coach, the, the control and the coach. And I want to see if you can do the process. I want it and the second I dismiss it. Dismiss it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Dismiss it. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so you control your, uh, your control. personal. Yeah, I control my personal and I coach my personal. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the most I get three person. I, see, I have a, a local. Uh, you hear the calls of, mm -hmm. and you see it in the system that the the uh, the production no it's not like a production it's like a el seguimiento procedure how do you pronounce that word Tatania? how do you say production <laughs> no I don't know. I don't know it's a production production <laughs> Ah, production. Production. Okay, that exactly. word was the most to <laughs> practice <laughs> last course. <laughs> I'll tell you, yeah, I'll tell you why. Um, ah, get the production. Production. <laughs> <laughs> because that is the word, that was the word that we practice and we practice and we practice. A lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, last course, yes. So mm -hmm. I always tell, I, I tell my students, sometimes it's very, like um, useful to exaggerate words um, at the beginning, just so that your brain gets used to it. And then, mm -hmm. then it's not a problem, right? So um, if you hear, if you exaggerate and you say production, and you know, that's why we were like, production. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why it's a joke in between us. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a joke, yes, it's an inside joke. Oh, I have to practice more. That yeah. production and repetitive always. Uh, production. Yeah. Another word I remember is personnel. Personnel, not personnel. It's different to personnel. Uh huh. And we learned that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I, I interrupted so, you. No, no, it's okay. Thank oh, you. No, Richard. no, it's okay. So, so, Natalia, so that is the way how you identify that someone oh, is the, not following. Um, there is many ways that you have to prove that uh, that the so it is uh, England speaker yeah. because they don't I don't I don't know why but I don't like what when they are speaking. Maybe the accent is different, but really different, very different. And the problem is the the India don't speak. Spanish don't speak English. it's not the language the mother mother language I don't know if it's correct to say uh, the native language yes the native language and I remember that uh, when I I I need the I need the solution I don't like uh, call the call center in India. Uh, in, my, in my case, if I don't follow the, the instructions or the procedures, um, actually, because I'm working at home, if I don't follow the procedures, maybe I can uh, give to the customers a uh, real, uh, what they need, Maybe the customers say, okay, it's, uh, give me the, my last bill or uh, uh, if I don't open the, my tools, so I, I can give the information 
Oh, maybe yeah. if I don't check the mails, um, maybe change some procedures on the to the customers, and I don't follow the instructions, and they keep and they can put me a DA like hmm. today, <laughs> like today, because apparently that change of the if the customer hang up, I need made a call back. Uh, but I didn't follow that instruction because I don't saw the email. So that's bad for me. Yeah. But in your case. Hello? ¿Saben cómo se llama la novela? No. Esta novela ahorita. Reportaje del, del partido al espacio. <laughs> yeah. Because and a space for the football. Es que yo no sabía cómo ponía ella en el background. Estoy flotando en el espacio. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm in the study. Looks like an astronaut, that is like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys, you're finished? You're finished? Yeah. Yes. All right, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. Take you, you, you your time, don't worry. Take <laughs> <It's> your time. <laughs> okay. Uh... Hi, guys, are you finished? Yes. yes it's, uh... Great. I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. We come back. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so tell me, what are some of the procedures you follow and what happens if uh, somebody in your workplace doesn't follow the procedure? Well, in my case, teacher at work, uh, the first thing we do to serve our customers to is to identify them find out if it is the person that says it is right oh and if we don't do that we could we could have operative losses of course it's very important to do it so you verify their id identity mm -hmm. okay all right good good what happens if one of your classmates doesn't follow that 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 step If, if we don't do it, we could, we could have losses. Okay, but okay, so that, that's the repercussion for your, your, for, your, um, for your company. But what happens to the employee, the employee? Well, he could, uh, he could have an amonestation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the end of the contract, depending okay. on what happens. Okay, very, very good. All right, excellent. What about the others? Tell me what are some of the things that happen in your in your workplace? Okay, in my case, I'm working at home. So we only have to follow uh, like three or four rules, I guess. I don't remember right now, but one of the most important most important rules is mark on time. Uh, so we need to be on time at work. Then um, the other is that if you have any outage, it can be power, uh, internet, or software or problem. So you have to fill a template. 
and we need to send to the to our supervisor uh, or other person that is a uh, uh, pending with that uh, kind of issues. And then um, we need to be we do, we don't have to use the chat or uh, uh, talk about any other uh, topic la, about that isn't uh, work. Okay, what happens if one of your um, coworkers decides that they're not going to follow that? Okay, first, I guess that we receive one or two warning and some of that uh, situation that maybe uh, one person is not following following the rules is but is returned to the site to work at the at where is located my work. Okay, very good, very good. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, Andres, tell me about something in at your workplace. Uh, in my workplace, we are on the lake. So there, there are different rules that we have to follow. If I, how do say, I commit an infraction? If you um, um, make a fall, no, no, oh, a fall. If I make, make a mistake, yeah, you can make a mistake, um, but. Uh, um, there is a more, um, there's a more, um, Broke. a more formal way of saying it. We can say, uh, you, in, um, you, a violation, you can say a violation. violation. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to commit there's a, a procedure. violation. Uh -huh. There's a procedure. Okay. Uh, the first is a uh, verbal warning. Then if, if we continue making relations, we have a, ¿cómo sería una amonestación escrita? Okay, like a, a, a written... Written warning? Written warning. warning. We know uh, a lot of those. <laughs> then yes, we are really accustomed to that. If we continue making simulation, we can be this period fired or fired. Okay. Fired. Uh -huh. Okay. That's the procedure of my company. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Um, all right. Very good, guys. So what we're gonna do now is um, you got now that you guys have the opportunity of talking about that. Um, can you guys see this? Yes, we see. Just Okay. All right. So we talked, we discussed these two questions. So now we have this conversation. Okay. And we're going to be reading the conversation uh in practicing the the pronunciation so um i want to go ahead and repeat after me okay so we have sir 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 i forgot sir. how to process a payment i forgot, I forgot how to process, process a payment, a payment. i'll process a payment okay it's not process, it's process. Wow. Process. Process. Really? Estaba equivocada toda mi vida. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No, it's not it's that process. It's, it's not it's not that it's incorrect to say a process. It's it's not incorrect to say process. But the problem is process is a noun. Okay, so a, a process to process. Do we understand the difference? Yes. So yes. The, 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 the noun is a process. 
process. And the verb is to process. To process. To process. Okay. okay. Got it? Yeah. Yes, the, the, we got it the same, but the stress is different. Exactly. Yeah. Many in English that happens with many, 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 many words where that where you the same many, word, many. the same word can be used as a noun or a verb. And so to be able to identify if it's a noun or a verb, we put the stress in different places. Okay? Oh, okay. 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 Right. okay. Good to know, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So words like, for example, record, record. So a record, a record is a noun. To record is the verb. Right. So many, many words like that. Um, you know, you can you can even like go ahead and oops, oh, uh, we, we can, you can go ahead and, um, you know, find it on like uh, you do a little bit of research and you'll find many of these verbs that have different um, pronunciation, depending on if it's a word that it's a noun or a verb. Right. OK, so let's continue with this is the manager more. And he says. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. First, you first. Give the first. You give the options. You to give, give the, give the options. options. To pay in cash. To, to pay, pay in cash. cash. Or credit card. Or credit, credit, credit card. card. After that. After, After that. 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 Take the payment. Take, Take the payment. payment. And put it in. And, and put it in, in, in the register. The register. 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 Or you slide. Or, or you, slide, you slide. slide. The card through. The, the card, card through. 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 No. True, no. True, true. 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 Like three. Okay, listen. Through. 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 Like in Zulu. <laughs> My Through. 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 Like three, exactly. So it's through. Through. So three. Through. 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 It's like saying three, but with like an ooh at the end. Through. Ooh. Through. Ooh. Through. 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 The card reader. The card reader. The card reader. 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 Then. 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 The register prints. The register prints. The receipt. The the receipt. Receipt. And give it back. And you give it back. back. Give it back. To the customer. To the, to the customer. customer. Finally. 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 The customer signs the receipt. The, the customer, customer signs sign the, the receipt. Okay, remember this word over here has a silent letter. Which one is a silent letter? P. The C. The P the P is silent. I. Right? And the letter P. And the yeah and uh, and the I, yes, exactly. Receipt. So receipt. 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 The I and the P are silent. So you don't say receipt. Okay. It's receipt. 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 And you keep a copy. And, and you keep, keep a, a copy. copy. A copy. Receipt. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Mr. Moore. Moore. All right. Very good. All right. Good. Now, what I want you to do is go back to your partner yeah. that you had before, and you're going to practice this conversation. Okay. algo afuera. All right, so I'm going to open up the breakout rooms that we had before. I'm going to give you the same five minutes and let's open it.
Warner, are you going to be um, joining? Or not yet? Okay, I'm just gonna go to help the other groups then. Uh, you, uh, would you like to be Javier or the manager? Uh, I have you. Yeah. Okay, begins, please. Javier. We'll start. Sir, yes. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. By the new employee in the restaurant. Employee Sir. at a restaurant. Employee, okay. yes. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, first you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or just like the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. We understand. Yes. <laughs> Through the car reader, then the register print the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sign the receipt to save and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay. The is correct the car reader? Reader. Through the car reader. Yes. Yes, yes. it's like a PO box, P POS. Okay. I guess. And receipt. Because receive is receipt. <laughs> receipt. 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 Right? Receipt. Receipt. Ah. Receipt. Receipt. No, receipt. Receipt. No, con is T. The final is T. Yes. Receipt. Receipt. Because receipt. Is receta, isn't it? <laughs> no, receta is recipe. Recipe. Okay. Y en este caso es receipt. 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 Okay. Take a payment, put on the register, and you just like the card through, through the card read, and then the register print the receipt. Esto es recibo, ¿verdad? Then, After that, then, and finally, there uh -huh. is uh, four words for for order the sequence of events. Teacher, the correct word is sequence, the pronunciation, sequence or sequence? Sequence. Sequence. Uh, neither. Okay. Sequence. <laughs> neither. Okay. Sequence. Okay, neither. We, are, we were that. Uh -huh. Sequence. Sequence. Okay, thank you. Teacher, I have a question I was about to ask you. This word, sir, I remember we saw the Mr., Ms., Mrs., all of those, but sir is more a United Kingdom word, so or what? No. <clears throat> sir is the polite way to address somebody if uh, you don't know their name, you know, and you just want to, you don't say Mr., you say sir. Mm -hmm. Sir. For a woman, you don't Men. say, you don't say, uh -huh, you don't say miss, uh, miss or you say ma'am or yeah. Ma'am. Ma yeah. And the way I always got confused the way how you write down that word, ma'am is uh, M-O or M-A. Wow. 
wow, with man. an apostrophe. Yeah. It's not like a madam, it's man. M. Exactly. That's exactly mm. what it is, Natalia. It's actually mm -hmm. a fraction from the word madam. Madam. Why we have an a, a, a apostrophe in the middle because we have eliminated the, the D. Okay. Mm -hmm. Madam. Good to know. So, sir, is like the polite way to address to somebody. Yeah, to address mm -hmm. a man when you don't, you know, mention. If you don't know, no. You don't know his name, name or you're not, you don't mention his name, right? And uh, you're being very formal with him, you would say, uh, sir, and for the woman, ma'am. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yes, okay. because sometimes people got uh, like mad if, if we don't know if they are single married or not with the uh -huh. miss, uh, a new one miss <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly or uh, it, it's like a missus is this is, is a miss like uh, in the case is a woman is this is a miss or a missus you say man is indifferent that is a uh 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 if she's married or single yes if married oh, okay Mm -hmm. If we don't know, that is the polite way to oof, being in a good position. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. I didn't know how to grab it, but thank you. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Do we need to answer the exercise no, number we'll three? Right now we're going to answer it together. Oh, okay, okay. We just need to read it. Oh, okay. okay. Let's continue You're reading. In the main room. Okay. Okay, so we had a chance there to discuss or to um, to practice the conversation. Now let's um, discuss this a little bit. So let's discuss these questions. What steps does manager Moore give Javier to process a payment? It's a four step. There is a four steps that the manager says to Javier. Okay, what are they? First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit. Okay, good. Okay, so first... Uh, give the options. Give the option to pay in cash or credit card. Yes. Another, another step? The second I'll one is take the payment. Good, take the payment. I'm putting the register uh, or slide the card. Right. I mean, if the customer says they, they pay in cash, just take the payment and put the money in the register. Exactly. But if the customer says, uh, I don't have cash, I don't have credit, a credit card, and you have to slice the card to make the payment. Exactly. Okay. So actually I'm gonna... Let me, oops, this is the first one. Then the second one would be take the payment um, and put it in the register or slide the card through the cash, the card rate reader. Okay, another one, another step. Then the uh, register prints the receipt okay. and give it back to the customer. Right, very good. And finally, and what is the last step? Customer sign the receipt. Sign the receipt. 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 And you right. can give the give copy. That, that only applies if the customer gives you a credit card. Right, exactly. And debit card. And debit card. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so those are our, our steps. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. <laughs> um, 
Good. Now, what words does manager Moore use to order the sequence of events? Series, after that, then, uh, and finally. 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 Good. So we have words like at first, after, after that, that, then, then and finally. finally. Good. We understand the word first. How do we say first? First. 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 Primero. Is the step number one. Or Step number one, uh -huh, very good. The beginning. The beginning, uh -huh. good. Notice then we have the word after that. We never say just simply after. We have to say after that or be specific, after what exactly, all right? So you, you have to be very specific on what you're referring to. So you say after that or after, um, <clears throat> something particular, but we have to say always after the thing, right? We can't just say the word after, okay? Is that clear? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we have the word then, okay? Uh, how do you say then in Spanish? Entonces. Luego. Entonces. Entonces. Luego. Okay, good. And then finally, right? What is finally? Finalmente. 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 Good. All right. So these are words that are express a sequence. How what goes first, what goes at the end. Okay. And what goes in the middle. Okay. All right. Any questions about the vocabulary here? No. Any questions you want to ask about vocabulary? I have a question. Why in some situations I've seen the word sign up? or just signs? What makes the difference? Oh, uh, sign up? Mm -hmm. sign, sign up. Sign up. And it's referring to someone who is going to uh, make a signature, uh -huh, sign up. What is the difference to just, uh, in this case, we see signs that, that are sit. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I know it's a phrasal word, but I don't know why the usage is the difference. So what? Darse de alta. Okay. So actually, these are two different words. Um, they, so sign up. It means another word of signing up means to join okay. or register. Okay. Lo Login, maybe. Log, it could also mean log in. Yes, depends, okay. right? Log in. If you're on a computer, sign it, sign, sign up uh, can also mean log in. Okay. okay. Uh, but normally it means join or register. Ah, okay. Okay. And then sign means um, to write a, um, let's say to write. A signature. A, yeah. Yeah. Sure, let's use the word signature. Okay, so to write a signature. Okay, now I got it. Okay, so on a formal document, you would only be using sign, not sign up. Okay, okay. Uh, if you are on the website, you probably would use more like sign up. Okay. And don't, don't confuse these words with sing, right? Okay, so yeah, so sign is spelled S-I-G-N and thing is S-I-N-G, okay? So this right here makes a difference, the N-G or the G-N. Don't get, the, don't get them confused, thank okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Anything else that you want, guys wanna ask about? No, any question, teacher? No questions at all? No. no. Okay. All right. Okay. So in that case, so we have here your turn. Do you ever meet difficult customers? Oh, a lot every single yes. day. <laughs> yes. In the last 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we all have difficult customers sometimes, right? That's how it works. You know, life is like that. You know, um, some people are great, but others are not going to be so great. So work in small groups in your assigned room. Um, choose three of the situations below. List and describe five steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. Use sequence vocabulary, then present your procedures to the class. We don't have very much time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you about five minutes right now to start working on it, and then we'll present it next class. Okay? So right now uh, we'll start working on it, and we'll continue working on it um, tomorrow. But um, I want you to at least start working on it. Okay? All right. So we understand what we're gonna be doing. Yes, teacher. Yeah, any questions? Okay. So it's all clear. We understand what what's going what we're gonna be doing. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay, in that case, um, just give me a second. Oh, which hold on. Okay. All right, so we're opening the rooms. Aye. Okay, so okay, so we have to talk about one customer that maybe claim about something <laughs> today. <laughs> every, every, every single day. So it's all live. I mean, we work at the we work at the call center in account. We have to retention, like retention. Mm -hmm, that retention. So basically. So. basically uh, we have received this type of customer every day. <laughs> so every you, you can choose <laughs> just one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> uh, maybe for one man that called me and uh, say, I give my grading and the, and the customer only told me like, hey, I need to know why my bill is so high. Yeah. So, okay, Mr. Fulano, uh, let me check your account. So I will explain to you uh, why your bill is so high. And, uh, and that Fulano told me, but hurry up, hurry up. Just, I have only two minutes to be here. Just hurry up. So, <laughs> And, and they and only I, have two okay, minutes and they wanna do uh, we need to follow like, the the call flow so what's going on <laughs> so and then and I, you have, I to, just have 20, one minute two minutes so get yeah. up uh, one <laughs> customer say my internet is not working okay let me join join your house no i'm not in my house so <laughs> okay, two okay, minutes. Go, go back That's when you're okay. Go, go to your home and call us again. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes and so. Uh -huh. <laughs> Guys, make sure that you choose from the list on page 19, exercise four. The customer okay. is angry. Ah, okay. A customer is and you have a difficult choose the one the situation. Just okay. Um but the one is to employees. Okay, let me see. This I'm is the a group of the customer greeting upset because the cashier is so oh, is too I slow, can't. or if the customer is angry because his food is not there in time. So that's we need we need to follow that 
examples, right? Okay. okay. Uh, maybe okay. I I choose the number the second. The second. I choose one. The, the second. Yeah, that's right. A customer is very uh, aggressive to one of your employees. Mm -hmm. A customer and also can be like too big in this pool. And will not pay for the pool. A customer is calling upset. Because okay. she's receiving the wrong delivery order. Uh, it's similar to, to our job, uh, the number four. The number four, uh -huh, okay. A customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Mm -hmm. The customer is getting upset. That's similar, that's really similar to, to yeah. one of our calls. Yeah. Uh, so we need, do we need to discuss, or do we need present to the, to the, to the class, right? Um, gonna be one presentation by each five, one. Five step. Only have to to be one presentation. Yes. Teacher. Gonna be one presentation for each one. Um. You okay? The instructions were. Hold on. The, the instruction were. Do you this ever meet difficult customers? Choose, choose one of the situation below. Okay, I at least actually, and describe five steps. Actually, I changed it a little bit. So instead, the instructions were work in small groups in your assigned room, choose three of the situations below. Mm -hmm. List and describe five steps that you could use to deal with a difficult customer. Use sequence vocabulary, then present your procedure to the class. Okay, so you're going to be choosing three of these. Three? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's for the next one? <laughs> <laughs> well, what you you heard that? You heard that? Sorry, I, what, what do you mean? I, I don't understand. Edgar told you that if that's going to be for the next month. Next month? Yeah. Uh, yes. No, not for next month. No, we're going to be doing this tomorrow. But I, I like I said, <laughs> like I told oh, you, okay. right? uh, we're going to be, uh, we started today and we're going to continue with this tomorrow. Okay. 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 So you can okay. choose, you can choose right now and then I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay. That's going to be easy okay. for the next the okay. step. Yes, that's okay. for the February 2012. <laughs> <laughs> 2020. <laughs> the 2022. Okay. I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay. 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 All right, guys. So I hope you guys um, were able to talk to your classmates a little bit about which ones you would like to choose. And we're going to continue working on that tomorrow. Okay. okay. So I already took a picture there of the group so that we can put you back in that same group tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So quickly, our attendance. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right. Habit. Present. All right. Andres. Present. All right, Dennis. No, Dennis. Okay. Um, Edgar uh, Menjivar. Present teacher. All right, Edith. Edith Jorleni. No, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Urban. Hi, teacher. Present teacher. Fabiola? Fabiola, no? 
Okay. Um, okay, Heidi. Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, Irene. Present teacher. Okay, Ivan. Josue. Present teacher. All right. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Yuri. Yuri. No? Okay. Present uh, teacher. I'm sorry, the microphone was okay. mute. No worries. No worries. Uh, Luis? Okay. Uh, Manuel Alejandro? Natalie? Or Natalia? Present teacher. Okay. Wendy? Present teacher. Okay. Warner? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Yvonne? Present. Okay. Uh, Edgar Enriquez? I'm here. Okay. Um, Eli? Eli? Eli's not here? Okay. Um, Jose Montes? Present. All right. And Jose Ayala? Present, teacher. All right. Okay, guys, so that will be all for today. I will see you guys um, tomorrow, and we're going to continue with this tomorrow. And I guess today will be Natalie's turn, okay? So that's it, guys. Take care. Have a wonderful evening. Okay, thank hey, you, you, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. See you. Take care. Good night, everybody. Good night. Have a good night. Bye-bye. All right, Natalia. Hi, hello. Hello. How can I help you? Well, right now is I don't have many many questions of those about the the class or the platform. Uh, only the platform that that I asked before in the class that, that I have uh, some problems, but I I think I can resolve or prove with the, another advice. So uh, there is one word, the 1.9, that is has an issue, teacher. Because I, in this one, in this work, uh, I don't have the, I don't can correct the questions. I don't know why, but the question and the, and the answer is, no, the answer is correct. So I don't know if I can see, I can, I can share the screen and you see that. Um, you said 1.9? Yeah. It, are you talking about the, the one with the bundling? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we still need to fix that one. Don't worry. Uh, no. Okay, okay. Only, only that. Okay. It's my first time in this model, so. I don't have many questions, but I very well. Okay, good. Anything else mm -hmm. that um, that I can help you with? No, teacher. For me, it's very nice the class okay. and the dynamic to participate in groups and and pairs is very, very good because we have a conversation to another partners or or compañeros. How do you say compañeros? It's not partner, no. You could say partners or class. Mm -hmm. Classmate, classmate, classmate. So it's very dynamic, and then I'm very, very satisfied with the, with the class. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that. Yeah, because that's that's the whole idea, Natalia. Um, I put mm -hmm. you into groups to discuss a lot with your your classmates, because and the the thing is that Natalia, in real life, that's what, like you're learning English because you want to be able to talk to other people in English, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what best, what is the best way to do it then to actually start working with your class mm -hmm. um, and, and practicing, right? Practicing, right. That's what it's all about, right? You don't want to you don't want to mm -hmm. learn English just to get the information. You want to learn it to be able to communicate. 
right? So mm -hmm. that's why I give you enough practice. I, I try to, um, you know, work, get you to work in pairs and groups mm -hmm. um, with different people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you feel that uh, your partners work? Um, like when you are together, do you feel that they also are working with you or do you have problems mm -hmm. getting them to work? How do you mm -hmm. No, with any with any classmate, I have problems. And I think that so there is a, some people that is more uh, fluent the English, and there is another one that is not. Yeah. But this is the 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 it's not it's not a problem because always practice uh, with them, and um, and we can try to understand. <laughs> but but for me, it's not a problem. So there's is all okay. Well, there is so it's more um, when you have a classmate that is, is speaking English more fluid, it's very well. But uh, I can discriminate the other ones. Yeah. So always uh, we have to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we so, learn from other people. You know, even if mm -hmm. uh, even if we don't consider that they are at the same um we have the same knowledge as we do but we we always learn a lot from other people um so there's yeah that we know that they don't know or something that that they know that we don't know so we that's why it's very good yeah, sadly right so yeah um, yeah and um, we know each other we know yeah. each other and so sometimes it's very um not calm it's more like uh relax uh, to talk about another word another things that is not at work but you can uh-huh uh you this this como se dice uh, distraer distracted no yeah you get the, you get distracted distracted uh-huh so yeah absolutely mm -hmm. yeah you need to have something different from your everyday life yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Natalia, is this is your first course at um, English Preparativo? Yes, it's my first. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. My first. Okay. Good. Yeah. So, so, for me, uh, I learned the English always. Uh, I read uh, many books or novels in English. Always, oh, I see right. the the movies. But it's different to speak in English. We have, I have to practice more. Some words I forgot, uh, or some pronunciation is not well. So, yeah, there's always room for improvement, right? That's yeah, absolutely, you're right. But um, yeah, that's the the more practice we get, the more we will improve. So that's important. Yeah. How many models are in intermediate English? Six. Uh, six Inter Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. like a year <laughs> uh no it's actually no. For intermediate no because that's five it's five mm, it, it's five weeks per five month. weeks oh five okay weeks. so in total that's 30 weeks 30 weeks in, oh it's like uh eight eight months Maybe. Yeah, approximately mm -hmm. for the intermediate and then come mm -hmm. advanced. Mm -hmm. Then in advanced is more. Uh, it's so. another six. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I far, far away to no, learn. No, I mean, no, but don't think of it like that way. Just mm. We talked about today, time flies so quickly. You will not even believe how quickly you're gonna go. What? I'm already in the advance. I didn't even mm -hmm. feel it. And that's what so, I was. So. But the the time the time is very difficult sometimes because the world, the family. Yeah, I uh -huh. know. It's it's mm -hmm. it's a bit of sacrifice, I know, but it's gonna be mm -hmm. worth it at the end. I promise you. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be worth it. Just think about it. You do have to sacrifice maybe, you know, like a year and a half of your life, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be worth it at the end. You know, that year and a half is going to uh, feel like nothing compared to everything else you're gonna have later. Yeah, yeah. 
Yes. Yeah. Well, right. okay, Natalie, is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, no, teacher. Okay. Right. Okay. No. <laughs> Great. Well, in that case, um, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Have a good night's Thank sleep. Thank you. Tomorrow. Thank you. You too. Thanks. And I see you tomorrow. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Bye.